Hey everybody, happy Friday! Today I'm having another painting in my altered book for fairy tales and today I'm having a fairy tale by Hans Christian Andersen and you can hear all about the background, what I took from that fairy tale and what I thought about when making this piece here. You can read it up on my blog with close-up photos and material lists and uh, lots of information of all the other artwork that I also published this week. So hop on over, the link is in the description box below and enjoy a good read. I, at least I hope it's a good read to you. Coming to the technique for this page here. Uh, I started off with acrylics and a big brush and I'm just dabbing the colors onto the page here, mixing them as I go. And I'm staying pretty, uh, pretty much in the green kind of spectrum and uh, that is on purpose and like I said I will tell you all about that on the blog because it's background story. So I needed to have that dried. There's quite a lot of pa paint on that book pages here and I didn't want to move anything around unless I had at least a bit of a drying process going on otherwise I would have ruined the adjacent pages and uh, since I'm going chronologically through the book page by page by page I would have ruined an old design and boy I did not want to have that so I'm helping along a tiny bit with my blow dryer here just to speed things up because <clears throat> if you didn't know I'm goddamn impatient when it comes to drawing process on artwork. I just want to go and I want to have the things that I have on my mind and that I see before my inner eye. I, I, I want them on the canvas, on the paper, on the book, you name it. So I'm not the most patient painter there is in the world. So I'm just cleaned up my design and then I'm putting the book to the side and letting it dry while I work on the focal point. So what you just saw there was a pretty abstract background and uh, I will leave it as it is pretty much and just add the focal point there. So I'm having acrylic paper, meaning paper that you can use for oil paintings or acrylic paintings and I tried uh, to me rather new medium which is uh, Derwent Ink Tense and I have the blocks here that I'm gonna paint with and I wanted to try them on the acrylic paper and see how they behave if they cannot be um, seeping into the paper, you know? I wanted to see what kind of a, an effect I would get there. But first I'm sketching out my design, my focal point there with a waterproof black uh, marker there and I'm being very scribbly with my lines because well I want this to look rather rough and rustic and unpolished so to say. Uh, so I did let that marker dry for a tiny bit just to make sure that it's really dry and not gonna smudge when I go in with the ink tents and the water because again the ink of the of the uh, marker here cannot seep into the paper as it's acrylic paper meaning it, it it's kind of sealed so I had to make sure that dry, that marker was really dry before I went in with water and color and then I'm pretty much just coloring my scene there with the ink tents I'm uh, having the blocks in a tiny plastic uh, container thing it's almost like a palette so uh, I'm not taking them or I'm not taking water to them in the tin that they come in but I take the blocks out and then I go onto the block that I want to have the color used I'm just going in with a brush right away and then any water that can it can spill on the black plastic container I don't care and once the, they they are dry those blocks when I'm done with painting and stuff uh, I can put them back into the tin and everything's clean and uh, not having any uh, mold happening or I'm, I'm a bit uh, anal about having uh, wet art supplies in closed containers. Uh, I'm always leaving them 
open for a couple of hours or sometimes even overnight when it comes to watercolors and stuff and I use a lot of water. Anyway, uh, I did color all of it and then gave it a blast with my blow dryer so uh, my focal point is dry. I'm going over the background again with my blow dryer because again I have a lot a lot of paint there and I don't want the paint to smudge when I work on top of it with uh, gluing down my focal point and having a tiny bit of a very, very, very subtle border with uh, charcoal. So I just wanna make sure that uh, the surface is as dry as possible at that point and I still can work on top of it. So uh, once I had my focal point cut down to the size that I wanted, I did glue it down and then I gave the whole piece a uh, like I said, a very subtle border with charcoal and that's that. I will have fixative spray on top once the acrylic layer is completely dry, just to make sure that I'm not having any smudges with the charcoal, but that will happen in like 24 hours or something. So I didn't record that part. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Again, like I said, in the beginning of the video, the background story and what I took from that fairy tale that I painted here um, will be on my blog in about 10 minutes once this video is out together with close-up photos materialists and lots and lots of background information for all the other artwork that I published this week so hop on over to my web page if you're interested and I will see you tomorrow with a new vlog episode. On Sunday I will see you with board gaming and on Monday I'm back with artwork. So enjoy, have fun, take good care, go create and enjoy your time doing that. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.